Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. You'll be saying Tablet wow every time award. you use this towel. Former it's visuals. like a shammy, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. Nominees are. <laughs> oh, there's a guy. Ah! <laughs> dude, Player I'm unknown battleground. I'm gonna get banned. This is the band right here, dude. <laughs> it's 100%. Uh... <laughs> I see his friend. Can you see that? Marvel vs. Capcom, isn't it? X. It's hard to. Lawbreakers. All right, what happened? To who? To who? Mass Effect Andromeda. Fun. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. And the winner is Mass Effect Andromeda. BioWare's graphics have never truly been top-notch, but they've never been shy to show what a game will look like as a final product. Dragon Age 2, in particular, was notorious for having some of the worst promotional images V has ever seen. The unveiling of Mass Effect Andromeda, however, would result in a plethora of bull shots and pre-rendered cinematic footage devised entirely for the gaming press, which, sadly, wasn't all that impressive. By the time the first trailer had uploaded to YouTube, V had already churned out countless WebMs from the reveal hours earlier. When the game released in March, it wasn't as bad as we all thought it would be. It was immensely worse. Somehow they skipped the part where you downgrade the game from the E3 promo and went straight to the part where you begin to deconstruct it. From horrid bugs to insane glitches, graphics, and animation that even made its own fans groan, BioWare's ineptitude slipped through the cracks once more. But who can really blame them? They're only human, after all.